Automating the generation and distribution of order-related documents such as PDF invoices, packing slips, and credit notes can smoothen the order fulfillment process. The WooCommerce PDF invoices, packing slips and credit notes plugin from WebToffee would help you set up and distribute the documents without any hassles. Here we will look into creating and customizing PDF invoices, packing slips and credit notes with the WebToffee plugin. To activate the plugin in your WooCommerce store, log into your WooCommerce admin console and navigate to plugins. Add new. Note that, for the premium version of the PDF invoices plugin to work, the free version of the plugin has to be activated on your store. So to first install the free plugin, search for WooCommerce PDF invoices, packing slips and credit notes. Locate the WebToffee plugin and click on Install Now corresponding to it. Once it is done, click on Activate to activate the plugin. Now that the free plugin is installed, tap on Add New. And then on Upload Plugin to install the premium PDF invoice plugin. Here, choose the zip file that you downloaded after purchasing the plugin. Click on Install Now to install the extension and then tap on Activate Plugin. That's it, all the plugins required for setting up PDF invoices, packing slips, and credit notes are now activated on the store. To take a look at the plugin settings, navigate to Invoice or Packing General Settings. Here, make sure that the documents Invoice, Packing Slip, and Credit Note are toggled on. Now go to the General tab. Here you can provide details such as the company name and logo. Let's just select the logo from the media library for now. Other details like the return policy and footer content can be added here. The address details of the company will be automatically fetched from WooCommerce. If not, you can use the Load from WooCommerce option to manually load the data. To save the changes made, click on the Update Settings button. Now that the prerequisites are met, we will look at setting up and customizing PDF invoices. For that, navigate to the Invoice tab. Make sure the option Enable Invoice is toggled on for you to generate, print, download, and email invoices. Choose the date that you want to use as the invoice date. This option enables you to specify the status the order should attain for the invoices to be automatically generated. Here, the invoice will be created for an order when its order status changes to pending payment. Enable this checkbox if you want to automatically attach PDF invoices to the order status email notifications sent out to the admin. Select the order status emails with which the PDF invoice has to be attached. Here, the customers will receive the invoice attached to the pending payment email. If you want to enable your customers to print invoices, attach a print invoice button in the order lists page in My Accounts. Order details page in My Accounts and the order emails sent out to customers. In this section, select how you want to number the invoices. Let's use the custom number series to create our own custom invoice start number here. Choose the number format your invoice should follow. Let's select number suffix. Specify the suffix that you want your invoice to have. Provide the invoice number length excluding the length of prefixes and suffixes. If you want to group products in the invoice by category, enable this option. Use the sort products by option to arrange the products in the invoices in any of these formats. Use this next option to showcase the product variation data below each product in the product table. Choose how you want to display the bundled products in your invoice. The available options are main products with bundle items, main products only, and bundle items only. Let's go with the default main products with bundle items here. Additionally, you can include or remove the free products in invoices with this option. Now let's look into how you can add payment links on invoices. Check this box if you want to include a payment link near the payment method in the invoice. Now choose the order status emails to which the payment link has to be attached. It can be added to the invoice attachment in the pending payment, on hold, and failed order emails. Let's choose Pending Payment. To make the purchase process easy for your customers, you can enable them to bypass payment at the checkout with a Pay Later option. Add title, description, and instructions for the Pay Later option. For now, let's go with the default content. 
If you want to generate invoices for the orders placed before installing this plugin, enable this checkbox. Your store may have zero priced or free orders, use this option to enable or disable generating invoices for such orders. Choose how you want to name the PDF invoices. Select a format that you find suitable. Add the custom prefix that should be used in the invoice name. Now save the changes with this update settings button. We will look into customizing the PDF invoice template next. In the Customize tab, click on the Change Layout link to view and switch the invoice layouts. In addition to the visual editor, you may use the code editor to customize the invoice template. All the customization options available for personalizing the invoice template are available here. Now let's see how to can make changes to this template. For example, to edit a section, just click on it and corresponding configurations will open up. Make the required changes there and the changes will dynamically appear on the visual editor. Every element of the template can be optimized this way. Once you have made all the required changes, click on Save and provide a template name to save the template. Now to activate the template, click on this icon and tap on Activate. You can see that the template is now activated. Now let's see the advanced WooCommerce invoice settings. You can use this advanced section to add additional data to the invoices. Use order meta fields to add data such as contact number and email to the invoices. If a field that you require is not available, you can create new ones with this add or edit option. Similarly, product meta fields and attributes can also be added from this page. You can include a custom logo in the invoice here. However, since we have already added the logo in general settings, we don't have to re-upload it. You can add the signature of the concerned authority to the end of the invoice by uploading the sign. The custom footer content of the invoice can be edited using this field. Click on Update Settings after all the changes have been made. Here is a sample invoice with all the customizations made earlier. Now that we have an idea about configuring WooCommerce invoices, let's move on to creating and customizing WooCommerce packing slips. Click on Packing Slip to land on the Packing Slip configuration page. Since packing slips are usually used by the packing personnel, you may have to direct the packing slip email to such users. You can do so by selecting Custom Email in this field. To specify the recipients of this packing slip email, update the settings and then click on this hyperlink. This will take you to the email configuration page. Specify the email address of the required recipient and save the changes. Now return to the packing slip configuration page to customize other settings. If you want your customers to view and print the packing slips, add a print packing slip button with this feature. The print button can be added to the order lists page in my account and order details page in my account. To group products in the packing slip by category, enable this option. Use this sort option to sort products in a suitable format. Use this option to show data regarding the product variation under respective products. Choose how you want the bundled products to be displayed. Click on Update Settings to save the changes. Now let's move on to the Customize tab. Similar to the invoice, click on Change Layout to select a suitable layout for the WooCommerce packing slip. You can use either the visual or code editor to customize the document. These are all the customizable elements in the WooCommerce Packing Slip template. You can enable or disable these elements. Or you can change their configurations based on your requirements. Once you are done with the customizations, click on Save and provide a template name to save the changes to a template. To add additional data to the packing slips, let's move to the Advanced tab. Here you will have the option to add order meta fields, product meta fields and product attributes to the packing slips. Additionally, you can specify the footer content of the document here. Once the required changes are made, save the settings. Here is a sample packing slip document with all the customizations made earlier. 
Now, we will look into setting up and customizing WooCommerce credit notes. To do that, click on the Credit Note tab in the left navigation bar. Credit notes are to be generated when an order is refunded. By default, the order status refunded is selected here. Make sure to enable this option to attach credit notes to the refund email sent out to customers. Use this option to sort products in the credit notes in a particular format. To show the details regarding the product variant alongside the product, use this option. Choose the numbering scheme for credit notes. Let's go with custom number series and set the start number as 4. Select the format for your WooCommerce credit note. Since we have selected prefix, specify the prefix that you want for your credit note name. Now set the length of the credit note number excluding the prefix. Additionally, specify the order meta fields, product meta fields, and product attributes that you want to include in the WooCommerce credit note document. Once done, click on Update Settings. Now, let's see how you can customize the credit note template. Click on the Change Layout link to select the layout of your credit notes. You can edit the document either using the Visual Editor or the Code Editor. All the template customization options are listed here. To edit the properties of any element, click on the element and change the required configuration from the corresponding block on the side. Make all the relevant template edits here before proceeding. Once you are done with the customizations, click on Save and provide the template name. If the template doesn't get activated by default, click on this icon and tap on Activate. This is a sample credit note generated by this plugin. If you found this helpful, please like the video and feel free to drop any queries you have in the comments below.